building faster with AI. Today I want to share with you a short video of how I set up the layout of all tools that I'm using in order to build faster. So which tools am I using, which Chrome extension I'm using in order to help myself build faster and a few tips and hacks that I've been thinking about and optimizing in the last three or four months. And I thought it might be useful for some of you. So I decided to record this short video. Basically, um, when it, in terms of using Visual Studio Code, I'm using Cloud Dev, which is an amazing tool. I've, I've talked about it many times in uh, recent videos. You can come to VS Code and just download it over here, Cloud Dev, and download it. What it allows you to do, it allows you, this, this is the one, it allows you basically to ask AI, any LLM that you would like, you can connect different LLMs, you can also work locally. So you can ask it to create code, um, edit uh, code bases, refactor stuff, build stuff. It is using Cloud, usually I use Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, so it builds very nicely. It can also work on files locally, so this is one of the biggest advantages of Cloud Dev. So Cloud Dev is my most important tool by far. I combine Cloud Dev with Continue, which is an open source competitor of Corsair. Well, both of them are somewhat competitors of Corsair, and I'm, I mentioned Corsair because it has been getting a lot of uh, traction recently and a lot of hype around Corsair, although there are also other coding assistants, such, uh, assistants such as Ader. But I like Continue because it's a free uh, and open source project, and this is how Continue looks like. You can also download it from the extensions tab, continue. By the way, continue has also great documentation. So you can just find it over here. This is this one. And what you can do here, you can basically connect different type of LLMs. So for continue, I usually use Grok, Llama 70B. And the reason I'm using both Cloud Dev and continue is because Cloud Dev does amazing work, in my opinion, in building the project from scratch, and also it can do editing, but you have less control over small stuff in it, although uh, they have added abilities to edit files, and you can also see recent versions of the files in the timeline. I still like using Continue as well, and let me just show you an example. Um, let's see if I have an example over here. So. What I can do in continue, you, you can use different type of context. So you can have the whole code base as context, and you can have also only specific files, or you can have the terminal, or you can even add a URL. So let's say you want to um, create a knowledge base from a specific URL, for example, a documentation of a GitHub repository, you can just add the URL over here and then ask a specific question. Let me show you an example using Rock AI and you Grok and you can also see how fast it is. Obviously the model used here is Llama 70B. Can you analyze this code for me? So it is asking me which code I'm talking about. So I just need to add as context the right file. So let's say this file. And then it gives me it gave me the analysis. As you can see, it is very fast. The great thing about continue is that you can also use auto completion and I feel that it has a better ability than Cloud Dev to do minor tweaks to the code so you can use auto complete which is very um, useful and also analyze the terminal if you're in Cloud Dev you can also use their in their built-in terminal but I don't I'm not enjoying it as much so I think a combination between Cloud Dev mostly using Cloud Dev and sometimes using Continue. In both of them, you can add local models. So I just try to use Cloud Dev. I'm using Cloud Anthropic Son Cloud Sonnet 3.5 with Cloud, and I usually connect this with Grok. Very easy to add new models. And yeah, they have great documentation. So this is what I'm using in terms of, of Visual Studio Code. On top of it, 
on, on this, what I'm doing, I'm using a lot of voice typing recently. So let me show you an example. I created an extension which uses Whisper and basically I hit one button and it starts transcribing locally what I said and then whenever the cursor is located it's going to add it to the text so it can be in VS Code, it can be Notepad, Gmail, whatever. Let me show you an example. So I hit this button. Please type the following things. I need you to analyze this file. And you can see it is being sent uh, over here. So please type the following things. I need you to analyze this file. Looking good, I will try to talk more clearly. Obviously, talking is faster than typing and it also isn't as exhausting as typing. This is why this is such a huge benefit. So no hands, obviously, and you can see, looking good, I will try to talk more clearly. Obviously, talking is faster than typing, and it is also isn't as exhausting as typing. This is why this is such a huge benefit. So this uh, has really making me more effective, productive, I guess, efficient, and also less tiring. So I'm able to work more hours building stuff, and I really love this extension that I built. Beyond these two, I also use Claude and Tropic, and the hack that I found here, let me drag this from the other screen. I'm using two screens. I think it's a no-brainer, and it's only like 30 bucks to buy another screen. You can buy second hand, and I think it, it makes a lot of sense. So I'm using this Chrome extension, which is called Tab Resize, which basically allows you, with the click on a click of a button, you can resize different tabs. So in this case, I have two tabs open, and you can also switch to four tabs. Very convenient. Just open four tabs. Let's go back to two tabs. I will close all of them. You can change the settings. In this instance, I told it to open new tabs. Let me show you what I'm doing over here. And this is like a recent discovery, which has really helped me. So I have two um, Cloud instances open all the time. One is the project and one is the working one. So let me tell you the distinction between them. So very often, Cloud gives you, let me show you, uh, let's start with an example. Can you give me high level instructions how to create a Node.js app for saving prompts? So by the way, this is an extension that I have already built, but let's see the instructions. So as you can see, I used the typing. So now we have this, uh, these instructions. Awesome, please write the code for me, and then I will give you more feedback. Okay, so it is writing the code for me, and very often we need to zoom in into a specific uh, instance, into a specific part of the code or part of the project. And when we zoom in, and we do this often, the first of all, we are moving away from the high level overview of the project, which is here. And we are also adding a lot of context to the conversation. And sometimes this context deflects the focus from what we are trying to build. Because let's say I want to set up the database and I don't know how to set up the database. So I can ask it right here. Can you instruct me regarding how to build a MongoDB database? So it's going to instruct me. The issue is, as I said, we are going to have a lot of context and we are moving further down in the conversation, moving away from the outline. So my elevation was, okay, I'm going to have this project tab, which is the high level um, project. And I'm also going to open another tab. And this tab is the working tab in which I will zoom in into specific parts of the project when the context isn't needed. So for example, instead of asking about the how to build 
uh, a database over here in the main conversation I'm only I'm going to ask it right here can you instruct me step by step how to build a MongoDB database assume I'm an eighth grader and I have very little understanding of coding so it is going to instruct me and I'm going to have both tabs open and whenever I finish with the database part I'm just going to move on in the high level tab which is the project tab to the next step so this way I'm not confusing the LLM later on imagine that we have everything in the same conversation it's going to confuse the LLM regarding what we are building so this way I find it very useful just zooming in using a different cloud instance I found it very powerful especially when using um, both tabs or even four tabs this way it is easier to manage everything um, what else yeah I also have the prompt saver which I've built for myself so that I save different prompts and, and then I can just copy and paste my prompts into the conversation which is also pretty useful but I guess this is these are like the most used tools so using cloud dev mostly like 80% of the time is using cloud dev sometimes using continue all the time using this Chrome extension that I've built it's not a Chrome extension this uh, app that I've built that is using whisper locally and using two tabs of cloud one for the high level project and another one for zooming in to specific parts of the project I guess that's it for today guys if you have let me use this I guess that's it for today guys if you have any questions suggestions or ideas obviously leave them in the comment section I would appreciate if you like the video and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and until next time keep on automating now let's see if it worked nice and until next time keep on automating Bye guys.